Hello everybody, just out going to test the Xeno today, there's 5-6 mile an hour winds, it has been raining and it's off the minute, so in between the showers going to give it a go, I'm going to record the screen, I'm also going to record the camera and I will obviously record on the drone, hopefully I'll be able to put them all together and hopefully we we'll get a good flight today. So I've turned the drone on first, turned the controller on, waiting on the blue lights to stop flashing. Well then, that's the blue lights have stopped flashing. I'm going to connect the phone and start up the app. And as you can see, that's it connected. So I will start the screen recording. That's the screen recording. And now I'm going to start doing all the normal calibrations. So, bind to the aircraft. Good GPS accuracy. Going to do We'll do a compass, compass, compass calibration and all the other ones. I'm on FC 1.1.48. The firmware is 3.5 UB25. Compass calibration. Okay, that's that bit done. It's now on the screen system initializing. Wait for that to go off. It's off. Motor locked. I'm going to do a horizontal calibration. I would say it's pretty level, so we'll give it a go. That's that finished. I'm also setting the aircraft to the controller just in case there's anything around here that might interrupt it. I've got 17 satellites. Right, so before it starts raining again, let's get it in the air. Automatic takeoff. Let's see what happens. Nope.
that's the Hudson drop. You can see how far away it's moved. It's not doing too bad. Nope. I've seen on some other videos, let me just move it back over. I've seen on a video the other day where I think it was ready set drone and as he was moving forward the drone was going straight towards the ground so we'll give that a go first. Make sure everything's in line with the camera. Just check. Full throttle forward. And hopefully that was caught. It did dip a bit, but it seemed it was trying to level itself out. So I'll bring it back again and try it again. It did seem to go over towards the right. That's me. Full stick back and it was going over to the left. Now it's rising itself. Dropping itself. It's not doing too bad. Bring it back. Got it as straight as possible, and I'll try that again. That's it, dipping towards the ground, and as you can see, it's flying over to the right. We'll see if we go full stick back, what happens. And it's going towards the floor, I'll have to stop it before it hits them. Full stick left, going towards the ground again, and nearly hit the ground. Full stick right, towards the ground. And full stick left, it's really dropping altitude. Let's see, I'll go and bring it. The wind is going in that direction, so I'll bring it that way. We'll turn it towards me, turn it towards the wind, and see if it drops. Full stick forward, and yep, straight towards the floor again. So, let's see. We'll stick the video on now. That should be okay. Record. No oh, picture. See what the gimbal's like. I have it slowed down. The gimbal's great. I've never had any problems with the video. Everything's always been good. So I'll bring it back over and we'll see what it's like on the video. So, I'll try that again. It's at two, oh, let's drop it. So we are at 2.6 meters. Full stick forward. And it only dropped to two meters that time. It's at three meters now. So we'll try and come back. 
two, oh, no. Right down to two meters. So another one was when you fly forward and make a sharp turn left, sharp turn right. On left it was descending, on right it's ascending. So I'll go up a bit and give that a try. So full stick forward and sharp left. Sharp left. Nope, not descending at all on that. So now we'll try around to the right. Full stick forward, sharp right. Right. Nothing. Round to the left, not a thing. It's flying great. Yep, flying really well. Can't complain at that. So hopefully you can see they do seem to have made a lot of improvements. Seems to be a bit steadier now as time's gone on. Battery level's down to 52% now, that's about, say, seven minutes. Doesn't seem too bad. So I'll try a bit of distance and then hit return to home, see what happens. So I have my, let's see, controls, settings. Return to, return to home altitude set at 25 meters. So we'll check that, see what happens. Right, so I'm gonna fly out in that direction. I'll go up to the 25 meters. And hopefully it'll fly back at that. That's 25 meters. Sitting steady. And out we go. Very quick drone. That's me out at 100 and send it out to 150 meters. Don't want to go too close to houses. 150 meters. And I hit return to home, return to home, take off point, okay, turning around, you can see it on the video, and it's coming back, very good, see how well it does, it's holding steady at 25 meters. Coming nigh right overhead. Lord. Hopefully you can all see that. I'll get ready to so not too bad. It's only a couple of feet, so cancel. Cancel. So, I can live with that, that's good enough. I'm now on 
forty percent. That was the battery warning. So. create a video and still only has the panorama follow mode flying to low go up a bit As you can see, it's working well in the active track. I'll try and hide safe. Even moving around the car, it's working well. So we'll stop that. Just going to take it for another flight. It seems very static. Seems to be doing well. Thirty percent battery warning. Flying really well. One of the other things the drone was doing was when you're flying straight it's like angling to the right hand side so I'm going to go up lower the, I'll probably keep the camera horizontal and have a wee look. Still doing that, still angles off to the right hand side. I can see the rain coming so I'm going to land a drone and that's me for the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.